Oh! What is up, the Aspie Attic here again, the attic with the fashionable crave for otaku meat. You guys really want to look really down low to my... good side? Bad side? I'm not sure. Let me try to get you back up. Does that help? I think that helps me a lot. It's been a while I haven't done anything. Mostly I've been playing uh, Persona 4, dancing all night for a while, which is making me think a lot about Persona 4. In my personal opinion, I'm more of a fan of the Persona 3 rather than Persona 4, because with Persona 3, it was a little bit more darker, the characters felt a little bit more badass to them. Though that doesn't mean that I don't like Persona 4. It's got some good characters, though are very stereotypical, are also very enjoyable in how they interact with each other. Which makes me remember of a certain show that I should have bought recently. It is the Persona 4 Collector's Edition from Sentai Filmworks. I just got this recently today from RightStuff.com along with a special bundle of stuff that I got. Right Stuff has been a major pain for me this past couple of days because they one a long time ago I was able to ship this stuff all together, but they were able to ship them out partially in case if a certain one came in early, then they could ship it out. But not for this new right stuff, which has been a mild pain for me because I wanted to get these unboxings things done a little bit earlier instead of having to wait a little bit late during this line. I think this got released around September. Don't worry, there's some there's a recent thing that came out that I'm going to be unboxing. But here I really wanted to talk about Persona 4 because of Dancing All Night. For some reason I've been enjoying that just as much as for some reason I've been enjoying some stuff for Persona 4 even though I think Persona 3 is a little bit better. But anyway, let's take a look at the contents from inside. So here we have it zoomed up up close and personal and unwrapped. After I unlock the tripod, we can look up and down this art box. This has a lot of action going on. There's stuff in the foreground, the background, and all with the yellow and black fitting so well with the color scheme itself from Aniplex Sentai Filmworks. And all the characters with their white on contrasting the whole thing. It just looks really, really nice. This whole design is just wonderful. It does remind me of like a box that you get when you get like the PS2 Personas or the Persona for the Golden or like Dancing All Night and that kind of stuff. It just feels so great, so right for the series itself. And I'm just glad that they decided to stick with this choice. And all this together, I got this, I think it was around 79 bucks. 70 to like 80 or 90 bucks off right stuff during their sale. This was just a steal for how big this series is because not only it's 24 episodes, it also has the sub and dub that it has that is not included with, I mean, it's not included with the variety to choose from with the Blu-rays. So now you got a Blu-ray with the sub and dub options if you're into that. Though I really like the dub for this, surprisingly. Though there was one person on ANN that was like arguing with me, it's like, they, sh they say they cost too much. <laughs> Uh, teenagers that rebel against society sticking it to the man and trying to solve a mystery that supposedly the adults aren't bothering to think about because they're the adults and adults are stupid in that world. So teenagers are the one that say the day. That kind of equals cutscene should be allowed by those characters. Same for Angel Beats. Though it was like, oh, Japanese students don't think like that. Oh, you know every single Japanese person that doesn't swear a word. And with the back, we got Yu Narokami, who is basically the silent protagonist that you have in the series. I'm really glad that he's talking a lot more, because now that I'm playing Dancing All Night, he's talking a lot more than even Big Boss in Metal Gear Solid V. That is kind of sad. Anyway, so here we got the spines over here with the Persona, with the Blu-ray and DVD. Hold on, fairly focused, there we go. And with the limited edition box here, with a nice little red and blue to show the difference. But yeah, it's all nice and yellowish, and we look at the bottom, if we focus more, it's T TV14, uh, Region A, 1080p, high definition, and yep, yeah, English, Japanese, and commentaries. I think the commentaries are for the Japanese, and I think the bonus last episode is on here, I think, I think, but yeah, we'll take a look at it right now. Now, one thing that is a huge plus for this, because we had the Blu-rays and DVDs side by side, is that all the main characters are here. And if you actually paid attention to the Sentai Filmworks release schedule for these four characters, these are actually the face cover, these are the characters that are on the disc covers for the Blu-rays. I don't know about the DVD though, but for on the Blu-ray, this is just so freaking consistent and it just, it pays homage to it. I just, I really like this. This, this simple design, working with Sentai Filmworks, uh, original release for this, having this be in the Clash Edition, it just looks wonderful on here. And the best part is, is that for the disc artwork itself here, we got Izanagi, and then we got the personas based off the characters' faces that are shown on the front of the cover. This is just really nice, and the inside artwork shows uh, you, uh, Yosuke, and Teddy. I, I'm i really, I'm more, I, I kind of like Sam Regal's performance on here. Yes, the bear puns are bad, but it's intended to be terrible, because he's a shadow bear that just makes a lot of puns. And so, yeah, and with the back over here, we got episodes 
come on, there we go. Episodes 1 through 9 on the first disc, special features, yes, Japanese commentaries and trailers for Sentai Filmworks, and 10 through 18 on here, disc 3 is 19 through 26. So yeah, I think the 26 is probably the special episode. And yeah, the episode one on air version, Mr. Experiment, like a lot of special extras. I need to focus on like, this thing's on auto yet, it's not really paying attention. Uh, yeah, but whatever, anyway. So yeah, everything on here is just really gorgeous on the Blu-ray sets on here. While we look at DVD side over here with Kanji Tatsumi, uh, Rise, I think they changed their voice actress in uh, Dancing All Night. In my opinion, it's not it's not really that good, but that's mostly just because, I don't know, maybe she grew older and that could probably give an excuse for the change in voice. Look, I'm just trying to add reasoning to the whole character itself to be reasonable enough for the cast change. Because also, the voice actress herself probably wasn't it available, just like with Trey Barker, Trey... Trave, whatever his name is, I, I, I'm i sorry that I forgot his name right now, but his voice acting in Oz a lot was just so bad in the direction for it. I just didn't really like that. And it's not saying I forgot him, it's just it's, um, it's on the spot. Then we got Naoto. She also changed a lot of voice actresses too, especially in the anime and stuff. Oh, and yeah, and he got changed with uh, Matthew Mercer, which, I don't know, wasn't my cup of tea. And there's Teddy again. And so we open up the DVD, and here we got the other personas, this time in a black one. Disc, ep, disc one, and disc two, and disc three, and disc four, and disc five. Ooh, yeah, that is a nice one too. And then, oh my gosh, this is one. This one was freaking. This is freaking clever. And yeah, for over the disc on here. Ah, oh, Yukiko. Yukiko is the best girl in this Persona series. Who cares about the other chicks? Uh, in my playthrough on Golden, I chose Rise. I I was ashamed of doing that ever since. So yeah, I did another playthrough and I got uh, got around with Yukiko. And besides, Amanda when Lee is her is just freaking icing on the cake. So yeah, we got this nice, simplistic yet artistically good uh, design for here. Yes, negative space on here, but you're to see these characters and all of this yellowness like can be represented on the noise of the color and that sort of thing. It's just really, really nice. Anyway, so let's take a look at the box. Hey, why can't I open the top? These are supposed to be a lot easier. What's going on? Let's take the sides over here, the backs over here. Yeah, nice design, but... Could it really... Oh... And so here we have the special goodies. Um, sadly, on this release, they decided to not, like, uh, spice it up with so much stuff compared to the Beyond the Boundary Collector's Edition. And also the No Game No Life one, but I'm more I'm just more happy that the complete series got a complete collection in a nice little art box because I find this to be a good uh, video game adaptation. Anyway, so what we got here is a nice cleaning cloth used with the Persona 4 logo on here. Now I think this could be a match made in heaven for my PlayStation Vita here. This is the new uh, PlayStation Vita 2000. This is just so freaking comfortable to hold compared to the big bulky one. Um, yeah, though sometimes using the touchpad's a little bit annoying, more annoying on this one, but just adding a matte finish to this and giant more rear pads and also making the thing smaller is just a game changer for me. I just like that. Anyway, back to here. So we got this nice little cleaning cloth here you can use and sets of stickers to use uh, with P4, uh, Yu Narakami, and Teddy, Persona 4 Z Animation. And then we got Chie stuff with little Chie buttons you can use. And yeah, these are legit buttons you can use. So yeah, these look generic enough to not be like saying, oh, you were an anime uh, merchandise. <laughs> but yeah, you can then say, oh, you think I look stupid? Look at the Aspies video on working with the Chunibyo set. Actually, please don't. I'm trying to get, get. I'm trying to get socially accepted again. But here we got these sets of cards. Now these are similar to the the Anime Network ones that you get from a certain contest that I specifically won in. My username is BS3311 on that site, and these are a lot better quality designs than the ones from the Anime Network. Not to say that they, well, yeah, Anime Network was a little bit bad on their stuff, but I love their Grave of the Fireflies lamp that they gave me, but I don't know where it is. I guess that's probably a bad thing since I said I it was good, yet I forgot about it, but yeah, here's the tarot cards. Zaful, uh, Zemage, these names that I completely forgot. These are, these are like in the order of the characters' names, and yeah, you only get, you don't get all 12, sadly, which is kind of a shame. Let's see, is two, four... Six, yep, eight cards for the eight of the characters. Though I wish it was a full set, but I think you probably get those on special things at conventions with Sentai Filmworks. But yeah, all this together, I'll go back in the box. 
and everything's back in the box. But wait, why is there Knights of Zidane on here? Well, that is just because I want to show a comparison to the sizes on here, which are a little bit different uh, compared to Persona Force one, is because they're both like around this slim size or whatever. So if you're worried on shelf space, don't worry. Due to them lowering the extras and also the price and stuff, they were able to make this a little bit smaller, which is a godsend for my shelf because there's a special big one that's going to be coming sooner or later. So I'm glad I'm going to get some space for that thanks to this. But yeah, um, Persona 4, I think it was, yeah, it was probably around that price that I said in earlier in the video, like around 80 to 90 bucks. But that was during a sale. So I don't know if this price increased, but yeah. You're not going to get a lot of extras for it, but just because it is Persona 4, the animation, which is a decent adaptation for, uh, compared to, like, any other video game adaptations that they usually have, this is good, this is good for me. And, sadly, I wish, like, they were able, I wish Sentai Filmworks was able to talk to Aniplex and was, like, say, hey, you're being stupid on releasing these subtitled sub-releases of Persona 3 movies. We could send these over, these awesome English actors on that, too, because Persona 3's dub was pretty cool, too. But, and now, Aniplex is now releasing the Golden Ones, but yeah, that's... It's sure, it adds Mari, but it's not that much of a difference in the viewing experience for here. They just add that Mari story. And sadly, they don't release that dub for that, too. Uh, I'm sorry if it's getting loud, but it's just, I'm really that upset over that a little bit. And also, the price is very small. And yeah, Ultimate Maggie X or whatever, this this guy on Asked FM who's very knowledgeable, I respect him in certain cases, but not every single case. As in, yeah, some stuff needs to be a little expensive, but rip, wicked expensive, like say stuff from Andy Plex and stuff, is just, I wouldn't go that far. Um, maybe if it was just a very special show, like basically Goran Lagan. I'm going to begin the collector's edition of the, that limited edition thing of that, that's from Japan, due to the yen in... Uh, starting to drop, so I'm getting that from CD Japan. But yeah, it's it's it depends on the situation for me. And yeah, that might sound hypocritical, but it happens with everybody. And he probably has a difference on that too, because he uh, he enjoyed Aniplex's stuff until like Sora Online got released. Not only only bi monthly, but it's also just a little bit more expensive. And but the designs on there are, are pretty botched down in uh, quality compared to the first sets. But I'm sorry that I'm talking too much. As you see here, this is a nice small set, and it's Persona 4, and this is nice. Thanks, Sentai Filmworks, for getting this release. And though uh, there's at least one more edition that's similar, and even though I said, like, probably after five rounds of this stuff, maybe they should start changing it. I uh, hope they start changing it. I'll probably ask a .fm about it, but yeah, let me talk on camera. And here I am now on camera. Uh, thank you for seeing the video. Uh, for future stuff that's going on, I'm trying to type out the review, but a web design project that I'm doing right now is taking some time off me, and plus I've been playing a little bit of games as of a la Persona 4 Dancing All Night, which literally made me dance some nights. Uh, it's a fun little game, but uh, I really didn't like the, how it used so much remixes, and some of them were just terrible. I, I didn't like the Snowflakes one, because, I, I don't know, I just thought it would be less... Uh, hippish or electronic whatever at least Yugi goes in it so it leads some plus for it and plus with the design I mean the costumes that I got on here and yes Yugi Ko is just basically the main girl that I just want to be dancing around with in free dance on Persona all the time all that doesn't stop me from thinking about what else is happening on in the industry right now with Viz Media's panel which is talking about licensing just licensed uh, Hunter x Hunter 2011 which is kind of a disappointment for me I wanted to collect a series in something a little bit better than say like DVD stuff like look at the Naruto I'm sorry ignore that beep uh, Naruto and like those bleach sets that you got on DVD like those are plain as all hell on there and if this is gonna now if this is gonna be sticking to that then it's gonna be a disappointment for me I'm not gonna be supporting the physical release for that maybe the digital unless if the dub is good and yeah, dub wise, I'm just I'm I just don't know what to think about for the idea on there. Uh, usually they'll just probably just add like a female voice actress on there, uh, and yeah, I'm I'm probably assuming that maybe Erica Mendez would probably be a good role for Gone, but I don't really like Erica Mendez for voicing boy characters, even boyish ones, which is why she wasn't really my favorite in Kill a Kill, and yet. People on Ask.fm were angry, or not Ask.fm, or I think maybe anywhere around there. Not saying I'm famous about the whole thing, about me getting angry about the whole thing with Erica Mendez. I'm sorry, at least I'd like Emmer, Eric Kim, Kim, whatever his name was, and other people that are coming in to, to the whole thing for Studiopolis or all the other California stuff. It's just not entirely all my cup of tea, and mostly I'm more fans of like the, the Texas and the New York 
business around there. And yeah, surprisingly, Emily Meeves and recently, the, from what I found out, Geneve Simmons have moved over to the New York. This is probably going to be similar to what Adam Gibbs did, uh, because from his wife saying that Adam Gibbs came back. So basically, it's basically a move where they just uh, go to one place, stay there for a while, then come back. It's, it's kind of a thing that happens naturally with actors. For video game stuff, I might as well just point out that I'm getting an Xbox One and also I'm pre-ordering a new Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, I, I think one or two people's eyes are probably whining about that. Um... I'm not, I, that doesn't mean I have so much cash to spend or whatever. Like, the, some of that stuff is going to be saved up for maybe a, a car or maybe something else. I'm not sure. But, there's, uh, uh, I'm condescending myself because I said that I was also going to get the Gurren Logan one. So, call me hypocrite. I'm sorry. It's just when I feel like it, I feel like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, I also have also important news announcements to say. It's mostly a uh, family relative announcement. Uh, my sister took some anime DVDs from me. My third copy of the Neon Genesis Evangelion thing. So now I only have this poor thing with me. I had the thin pack, but now my sister has taken it from me. And it's the autograph stuff for Spike Spencer drew uh, uh, Shinji Akari with a little like mustache and uh, glasses, which is very heartbreaking. Very heartbreaking that she took it. And also she took X, that uh, like yaoi boyish uh, apocalyptic anime where like the dragons of heaven and dragons of earth fight uh even though i'm not really a fan of that because even though the movie is bad they at least have one of the best songs of the whole thing just listen to it it's about as sad as me having missing those two sets i don't know when she'll be giving them back but she's basically just watching a ton of anime she is watching soul eater and all that sort of stuff i keep telling her to go watch berserk go watch all the other awesome cool stuff but she just seems not to like berserk even though berserk in the tv anime series is about as gory as a bucket of red paint so yeah if you see if you see me if you don't see them on the shelves just just know that my sister is taking some anime and showing them to other people which i think is a good thing because my sister really wasn't really a fan of anime till now and because usually in high school she really wasn't she was she was really like seclusive i mean not seclusive as in like a nerd she really like conformed to, to other people and now she's out in college she's now like just showing her true colors which is Surprising about like some girls and women and that kind of stuff. I wish anime was smart enough to do that. Anyway, that is all. Uh, Aspiatic is gonna be dancing a little more all night.